Good morning. Uh, my name's Tracy Collins and I'm the head of DNI for Keir Group. Uh, we've been working now with the Clear Company um, on our HR development programme for about um, probably a year now. Um, we identified that our HR community are a really key you know, audience to impact the uh, our diversity and in inclusion agenda. Um, you know, from a, a construction and engineering company, sometimes you know some of our managers need some help and support to really engage with and see you know how important the diversity and inclusion agenda is um, and we know that our hr community in particular our hr business partners are working with our business day in day out there are trusted people um, in the business and you know it was really key for us to make sure that they felt confident um, in how they could support the, the DNI agenda. So we worked with the Clear Company to source and, and to sort of scope out is where we felt their skills gaps might be or where the real, you know, I guess, um, clinch points where they could influence the process. Um, some of the examples there are around sort of um, the succession and talent planning process, the recruitment um, process. So that we, you know, really made sure that our HR community could support those elements. Um, most recently, we've been working on our succession and talent plan across across Kia, um, and some examples where our HR and um, business partners have been really able to, you know, where before maybe they took on face value if a manager said um, a particular person was maybe, um, you know fell into high potential or medium potential they probably took that on face value and took that that the you know the manager um you know made that um decision based on the best criteria that they had but what we've seen this year through our succession and talent process is our HR team who've attended a, a session about how they could really influence and drive the talent and succession process are now asking a lot more probing questions about, you know, why people are being rated in those particular ways. Um, and we've really seen that that's, you know, led to a um, talent and succession plan and process this year that's so much more diverse. And we're seeing that come through from our data where we have um, more diverse talent being identified as fast potential. Uh, and we know that's from the real quality and richness of the conversations that, um, that, that our HR our community are having on the ground uh, with their managers. We're getting some really positive feedback from our HR colleagues that have attended the training, um, saying how that's helping them think differently, helping them to improve their own confidence and thinking outside that very operational based HR um, background where they're now seeing that inclusion and diversity is a core part of their role uh, and the part that they can play to really drive our DNI roadmap and agenda as, as we move forward. Uh, the Clear Company have been really easy to work with. Um, they've helped us. They've sort of been our critical friend on the journey where not only have they helped us to shape our training and what we do for our HR community, but they've also helped us to sort of challenge us in our processes. So the most um, recent module we've been running is, is influencing hiring de decisions and hiring managers. And not only have they helped us to scope the um, training that we've been doing for our HR professionals, but they've also challenged us to think differently about our processes and maybe to, that we needed to review some of the questions that are being asked, etc. So you know, it's been really valuable for us to work with a clear company through this process, both to upskill our HR community, but also to challenge us as a company uh, in how we're, we're doing with our diversity and inclusion roadmap and journey. So, um, you know, I, I'd really endorse the, the value that it's provided us as an organisation um, to, to work with the Clear Company and in particular how they're helping us to um, upskill our HR community.